Today we're going to record another podcast episode and it's a podcast about design and people in the design industry but in Spanish. We just got our podcast approved by iTunes so we'll be able to release it soon. I think next week. Next week, probably Tuesday. And before I go to work, I want to open a package because I'm really excited about what I just got. It's the MicroCorg S. Probably I'm going to record the music for this blog with this little guy today. I want to show you a really cool plugin that I just discovered, and it's called User Flows. And it's a plugin for that, for creating user flows and for creating diagrams inside your artboards inside Sketch. So I'm going to add a link so you can download it here in the description. Once you have it installed, you're going to be able to see it here on Sketch. You're going to go to Plugins, User Flows, and then you're going to see all the different options that it gives you. So let's go to the first option, which is creating a link. So I'm going to select, for example, this guy, this tab, which should be the cases. And then once I have that selected, and then I'm going to select also uh, Command Shift and select the uh, uh, tab appointments, so, so this artboard. Once I have a layer or a group and an artboard selected, now I can go to Plugins, User Flows, Create Link. It also has a really easy to remember uh, shortcut, which is Command Shift K. So there you go, I created a link Pretty, pretty cool, it has a curve. Then from here, you can create another link that takes you back, there it is. Command Shift K, easy as pie. Look at that. And then let's say that this one, it takes me to this one. So I just select the tab and then I select the artboard, Command Shift K, and it creates the link for me. And I can go and ahead and for example, this one actually selects, uh, opens this window. So I'm going to Command Shift K. And then I'm going to do the same for this guy, Command Shift K. Look how easy it is. And then something that I found really, really cool is that it gives you some conditional logic. And you can add conditional logic by go to plugins, user flows, and then add edit conditions. And let's say that here in lab results has lab results. So I create it creates an artboard for me with the same color that I already have selected. And then from here, this element, I'm going to select this artboard, command shift K. And now from here, I want to select this group. If it has lab results, it should show this window. If it doesn't have lab results, then it should show this screen with an empty state. So I'm going to select this and this, Command Shift K, and then it automatically puts it there. And then this guy and this guy, Command Shift K, and then it made my diagram for me. Something that I really love is that it also generates a flow diagram with everything here. So I can go to plugins, user flows, and then generate a flow diagram. And then I just select the starting point. So the starting point will be this uh, uh, artboard. So it's going to say tap cases, and then I'm going to call it user flow. And then it creates a page with all of your flow. And it creates an artboard with everything there. And you can print it, you can export it, you can show it to your uh, uh, other stakeholders, and it saves you a lot of time. You can also customize the look and feel of your diagram. So you can go to plugins, user flows, and then settings. And then here in the settings, you can change the color of it. I'm going to change it to, and then you can say, instead of curve, you can also make it straight. Let's say straight, let's save it. And now it creates the lines in a different color, your links, and also is straight. I personally like it uh, curved, so I will change it that way, but it's up to you. So that's it. It's a pretty cool plugin. Check it out.
Look at this tattoo. How trippy is that? He looks a little bit, just a little bit stressed. What's up, Brian? Qué onda, hombre? How are you? Qué bien, y tú? We're going to your office, dude. We're going to our new office, extra startup-y. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the like, real deal. So, what is this BB, baby? It gives you flavored water. So oh, okay. Let's go. What do you like? Um, I don't know. Uh, raspberry and cucumber. Can you combine? No. Oh, and you put flavor strength? Hold on, hold on, hold on. And now I put some cucumber in it. There you go. That's how you mix it up, dude. That's smart. I didn't think of it. There's no, uh, doesn't have any color. It's water. It's just like a hint of flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, this is pretty good. This is, it's legit. So, Edgar, you just started here at your new company. Yes. You guys didn't have like a design department before, or? No, so I'm actually the first full-time design hire. Um, prior to me, they were just contracting work out, or one of the gentlemen here is kind of a jack of all trades, so he does light coding, light designing. As a new designer, new and only designer, yes. you have a lot of things to do, a lot of responsibilities. Yes, there's a lot of responsibilities. Um, a, they don't have a design culture here. Um, so before me came my PM, and he's been with the company for six months, and then he was like, guys, we really need a product designer who could come in and kind of help set a visual language and help me set a design culture for the company, um, which has been really cool. Um, definitely a lot of road bumps. Um, one of the things that's very difficult, for example, is that they're very engineer heavy and they have the tendency to be like, let's ship, 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 yeah. fix things when they break and we're slowing them down a lot by being like, okay, no, let's stop, let's think about this process and it, it, it's interesting to see that connection kind of butt right now, but uh, we're all working at it and everyone's really receptive, so it's really cool. Honestly, the thing that has me most excited is the team is awesome. Um, so that's a big plus to me. It's something that really made me want to sign on with them. But outside of that is that this platform isn't something that everyone uses, like a Snapchat or an Instagram, um, but it's something that people need for their day-to-day -day job. So our users are very real and they're reliant on our platform. Um, so there's a level of intimacy in the sense that I have to design for people, we all say that, but I have to design to make people's lives easier at jobs that uh, many of them don't like. So that's actually a really cool challenge for me because it's how can I make your job easier for you and that's really exciting because our users are very real yeah. and not sharing fun information but they're sharing information that changes business. So we're here with Julio Martinez. Hey, what's up? We're gonna we're gonna have an episode with him on our podcast. And are you excited about it? Oh, for sure. Well, we'll yeah. see how it goes. Y mi nombre es Pablo Stanley y esto fue Diseño Cha 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 con nuestro amigo Julio Martínez. Hasta la próxima. Okay, this is the end, the end of the day for us. A lot of work today. <laughs> A lot of work. Yeah, so, but to end the day, Edgar and Lumen are going to share with us a gem, something 
something to inspire you, something, a tool, something that you recommend to the viewers? For me, I'm gonna throw out a book. I really liked Hooked. So if you can buy it on Amazon, it's like 12 bucks, great book. Um, another great tool to have if you are designing like enterprise software is Atomic Design. Um, it really helps break down that process for designers who don't have huge teams or people to mentor them. So oh. Hooked and Atomic Design. What about you, Lumen? What do you have for us? Um, I've been working on design system a lot and we're doing this like huge sketch with a lot of symbols that will help you to design faster without thinking too much and like you know having to look at all of this stuff separately so use a sketch symbol in the right way and that will help you to design faster so use the sketch symbols yes but nested symbols and inside nested symbols and all yes. that good stuff yeah you can like change the color of the icon from yeah. the right panel is so awesome color everything you just create the style and then you make it a symbol with nested symbols and then you get a beautiful thing just print out stuff just you know make yourself surrounded with beautiful things print things that you like print them and put it in the wall yeah in the wall or collect them on pinterest or dribble whatever you like better um just keep it there just make your own space i always thought like uh oh, printing why would you print but once you print it it actually helps a little bit yeah. right? Like putting it out there and, and 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 not only you but also other people get to see those stuff and it's like oh then you're 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 uh, helping other people yeah, it, have all ideas too yeah, to like, also, be inspired also like help you to you know see around and like oh that's what i'm supposed to be doing or like that's what i wanted to do and then you don't get distracted um, especially if you're working in a huge project or designing something from scratch basically okay so print out stuff be inspired use the sketch symbols in the right way and over here atomic and the book hooked yep read them bye bye adios bye bye say bye <laughs> you, you didn't say anything oh no 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 it's you you are the ones <laughs> come on exactly. say bye bye <laughs>